Well then guys, if you're looking for an awful lot of car for what is arguably very little money nowadays, um, it could well be here, the Range Rover Sport. I've had a few of these, and to be honest, they've been no bother. But have I been lucky or what? I don't know. But there's so many on the road, isn't there now? So you're going to get the odd horror story, aren't you? Because it's all down to numbers. I was on the motorway yesterday in a line of about five of us, I think. Yeah, so there's loads. But that looks quite a straight thing, does that, doesn't it? All the stickers look where they should be. Stickers on the lamps and things, stickers in there. Peter there, you can't get them anymore. Uh, if you order a new one, they've stopped doing that. Dead straight is that in there. Gentleman bought it when he retired, always promised himself one. He's had it, he's loved it. It's now time for a change. And you can look round it and see that it's obviously been enthusiast owned. Nice and smart inside, good combination. Nice black leather so it doesn't show the marks, which is good. 88,000 miles on the clock. All looks quite straight in there. Still got the grain on the steering wheel, still got the lines on the pedals. Not a lot in the way of uh, maintenance paperwork, I don't think. So just do a little bit of homework as far as the mileage and things go, but it all looks about right to me. What with the door card or the nowhere on the door card, next to nowhere on the steering wheel, the pedals, seat, gear selector, indicator stalks and things, it all fits in. But you do your homework and have a look because you know where we are when it comes to mileages. In the back there. Oh, I used to put them up, I can't. Well, I've got me one hand, I can't. Heated seats in the back as well. It's a right level old car. And it's not massive money. Brilliant for like towing the caravan, isn't it? Or towing a boat or your classic car, whatever it might be. Jack and brace and screwdriver and kits in there. Load covers here. Got that two-stage load cover. It's got the two-stage towel gate, as you know, so you can open just the top section. So if we shut that down, that'll whoop, that'll shut. Press that button there. That just opens your top section. And then obviously you can shut that and press the button down by the HSE badge. And that opens up the whole lot. If you'll need the, the ball itch tow bar, which pushes in and twists, they're about I think I gave about £100 for the last one of mine on uh, on the dreaded eBay. A spare tyre there, look with loads of tread on. Like most of these things, it doesn't look like it's done any off-road work. They rarely do, do they, really? Unless you buy a farm, a farmer's one. But just all round, just, uh, just a, a straight, clean, smart Range Rover Sport. There she is there. I've taken loads of photographs for you. But it is that, it just looks a real level old car. There's a bit of um, lacquer fade on the bonnet. Can you see in the centre of the bonnet there? I haven't done anything weird, whether that a tea cut off or what, I don't know. It might flat back and tea cut. I didn't notice it actually, in, at first. But for, um, for what is an older four wheel drive now, let's face it. You know, 11 plate, it still looks new, doesn't it? But when you sit and think, hang on a minute, we're in 2022, when did that go? But still, a lot of car for the money. And still quite a modern looking car, I like this shape. Reminds me of like a Mark V Cortina, nice and square, yeah. Then they went on to the Sierra, didn't they? Which at the time we thought was awful, jelly mold. Oh God, never catch on. <laughs> Been there, done that, and we've passed it now. But anyway, there you go, guys. Uh, I think quite an honest old Range Rover Sport, but please come down and have a look. See what you think. I've just been for a little trundle out on it. There's no warning lights on the dash. Everything seems to work okay. It is what it is.